welcome welcome everyone welcome to builders of egypt yes we are about to build egypt that's right you heard me right correctly uh, it is out on steam for free uh, the prologue only though so remember that uh, we're gonna start uh, the basic campaign which is out for free and it's the only thing that's out i believe i don't know if these are out or all right let's get started because it's uh, a campaign and it's the first level i'm guessing they're gonna sort of show us what's happening and what we have to do so we will get a sense of what the game is all about so let's get started there are some win conditions here we have to gather 12,500 bread 5,000 bricks and 2,500 potteries and dwellers of 200 I don't know what those dwellers are but we are probably gonna have to build a pyramid somewhere we're ready to build pyramids and sphinx if we want to uh, but let's see what we can do first um, okay I don't I, I, can't read this because it's going up already so never mind just go down <laughs> and let us start and see what happens in the game here we go uh, so in a heads a glorious capital for Kemet a glorious capital of capital for Kemet the ruler of upper Egypt King Name conquered lower Egypt and united the kingdom on the Nile now the country needs capital wait the, the capital of is not there already? I mean, I have to build the capital? Okay. King Aha, Namur's successor, sends you to Memphis, in Abheds, to supervise the construction of this magnificent city, a political, administrative, and religious centre, which will become home to the royal family, and thanks to its monumental, uh, monumentality, will strengthen its authority. Win conditions, gather 12,500 bre uh, bread, uh, 5,000 export, export, I, I mean, I was, like, uh, yeah, I was weirded out with that. Anyways, export 5,000 bricks, pottery gain, uh, gather 2,500 and dwellers 200. Okay, let's get started, let's see what is this. This is a weird control system, yes, because apparently this is the other way around. Oh my, can I change the controls? Nope. Technology freeze, diplomacy, and finances, mission description, okay, um, uh, the short tutorial is intended for early access version and will be expanded as the game develops. Here you will uh, learn the basic uh, rules of the game. Click on the right arrow to go further or press sp uh, spacebar. Okay, let's go to the next bar. Uh, in ancient Egypt, uh, the idea of currency was unknown. The work was paid for with bread and beer. Okay, to simplify this mechanics, treat these resources as the cost of placing buildings and exchanging wares exchanging wares what's wares uh, who knows who cares uh, you can find their icons in the top of the panel uh, you can get uh, bread and beer mainly from training and collecting taxes but these are not a reliable source of income so make sure you do not run out of them because in such a situation you will not be able to further develop your settlement well, okay we have about 5,500 breads and no beer hmm okay is it 5,500 or is it like five ah uh, who knows we'll see we'll see uh, next please we want to build stuff um, we want to build some streets let's go this is how you build streets I believe roads shortcut uh, select a road oh my it's it's the wrong way around guys the controls are a bit weird let me see keyboard and mouse yeah, it's just rotating the wrong way. Like when I press E, it's not rotating that way. It's rotating the other way. Ah, so annoying! That is just so annoying. Audio? Nope. I can't change it. It's in it's still in early access. So never mind. Let's try what we can do. Uh, we want to build some roads. Apparently, let's see. Streets. Here we go. How much is this gonna cost me? Oh, okay. Let's get this in. Oh, and you just build them actually, so this not a problem, I guess. Go up to there, from there to there. Come on, here we go. Another one comes in, and finally this one, I guess. Uh, we spent quite a lot of bread apparently. Yeah, things cost bread, guys. Things cost bread. Uh, street, uh, select a road from the ba building list and place a street where you will be placing your, uh, well, where you will be building your settlement. Remember that the first basic resource is water, so it is best practice to build a settlement along the river. Okay, that's interesting to know. 
Uh, so we need to go down even further, don't we? But this. Let's move this and see. Okay, this is a bit weird. That's the main problem I'm sort of facing. Right? Now I need this to go from here to. Oh, wow. It won't go in there, interestingly enough. So how about there? To there? Okay, it's fine. Over here to there as well. Now. We need to move and select a house from the building list and place it next to the road. Okay. Next we have to select houses. Shortcut is B. Okay. These houses look weird. Oopsie. They're not going in the right places. Uh, yeah, I've got to figure out the stuff. Um, your city, if it has sufficiently high levels of satisfaction, which, as you will notice in the later game, is not easy to achieve. The arrival of the first inhabitants is announced by a message in the bottom right corner. Where's the bottom right corner? I believe this one. Uh, incoming deliveries none. Uh, dwellers are coming to the city. Awesome! Yay! My slaves apparently are coming. Um, okay. Yeah, because guess what, guys? It was built on slave labor, wasn't it? I think so. Uh, the pyramid, I mean. What happened to the sound all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. Remember that you can always demolish a building. Refund depends on the level of difficulty. Note that removing buildings at a later stage can be tricky, and as you will, as you can shatter the delicate economic balance. That is interesting. Uh, okay, go on. Press space to continue. Okay, let's practice demolishing, uh, demolishing on this road because we don't need the, need it here. Remove this highlighted section. Okay, how do I demolish? Uh, okay, demolish. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Um, and we want some administrative buildings. Your dwellers need to be protected against fires. Select a fire station from the building list and put it near your existing buildings. Okay, we will do that. Just like that. Can we rotate this? Because I want it like so. Yes, thank you. The uh, question is, are they built? Yeah, but no one's coming in. Okay. Uh, corner of filter work. Wait, corner of filter. Oh. Uh, note that after clicking on the fire station range icon in the bottom right. Uh, wait, where's the fire station range? Icon on the bottom. Uh, in the bottom right corner, a filter will appear, showing the coverage of the settlement. Okay, where's the fire station filter? Oh, guys, guys, look at this! People are coming. People are coming. All right, people are coming. Look at that. They're coming in. They're coming in. The dwellers are coming in, and they. Oh my days! This guy just died. He just decided I'm gonna come and die, right here, right now. Yeah, and this is a bit weird, isn't it? The gameplay is just so weird. I can't select this guy, can I? Nope. Oh, he's up again. He's not dead. Okay. Go do work! Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I see now. Okay. <laughs> um, risk of fire. None. Risk of collapse. None. Okay, I'm having a bit of difficulty moving this around, so that's, that's why it's moving so much. Risk of crime, risk of disease. Okay, this is good to know. All of this is good to know. Uh, fire station range icon in the bottom right. Okay, I don't even know what they're talking about anymore. Uh, showing the coverage of the settlement with uh, the range of the given buildings. The building protects other buildings from fire, but remember that the effectiveness of the protection reduces as the distance increases. It is a good idea to build a fire station at relatively small distances. Uh, from each other for better protection. Better coverage results in fewer fires and reduced consequences for them. Okay, moving on. Uh, it is high time to look at buildings you have constructed. Use right mouse button to select house. Uh, the details of the building will be displayed. If you look from the top, you will be uh, you will notice the things listed below. Current warnings. Uh, okay, let's select one first and then see. Uh, current warnings. Again, doesn't really help, does it? How to get rid of this? Okay. Nope. Okay. I think I have to like right-click this and see. Okay. Current warnings. The name of the building. No dwellers. House. Hmm. Access to all. Um. Level of the building. The 
capacity of the house and the number of available workers, risk of disaster, illness, crime, fire, disaster, uh, the required resources to raise the level of uh, the house, collected resource and current access to building. I'm going to be honest, it's a bit hard to realize what we are trying to do here. Like, how can I sort of get... Because when I press this, it's not helping. Uh, I can't select that. Food production, sanitary, you know, where, what is where production? Brick, potter, clay pit, interesting. Faith buildings and then administrative buildings and then buildings of cultural heritage. Okay, these are probably going to have to wait. Um, okay, I mean, I guess that's it. Moving on. Um, hmm. Available work is 24, 30 inhabitants. Look at this, guys. More people are coming in. More people coming in. Do, 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 do. I do not mind this. And this person is apparently carrying something. But it wasn't shown before or from this angle or from this, this, this. Can we see? Yep. There we go. She has something. Never mind. Um, yeah, I don't see what they're trying to tell me. The t uh, note that each house has its own range, which determines the maximum distance to the building in which the dweller can work. In case of hard to reach places such as mines, it is worth considering building a work camp which is mostly a self-sufficient unit. Okay, that's good to know. Build a well. Okay. In order to upgrade the house, the well should be placed in accordance with the requirements we have just observed. Build a well in close range of the houses. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves well, like so. Uh, rotate this. There's no point in rotating, I guess. Uh, let me see this. Yeah. Okay. So, rotate. Yeah, go on. I don't, I don't get it, but okay, it's fine. There we go. Hmm. Oh yeah, the house will now be upgraded if it has been completely occupied. Um. Uh, is by the road and meets all the conditions. Remember that if there is something missing from the previous level in the next level of the house, the house will be degraded to the previous level after a while. Okay, let's see. Upgrade access access to one type of food. Okay, after we give them like access to one type of food, before I was thinking they'll probably be here, like what they need. But apparently, hovering over this should help us know. Um, okay, yeah, we are good to go. Okay, each city needs an organized production for its growth, starting from the production of basic resources necessary for the upgrades of the houses. Build a clay pit uh, in the available space, making sure that it is within range of the houses and there is a road to nearby space. Okay, they are giving me all the things I need. Manufacturing products may involve more than one building within the production chain. You will find information about the building by right clicking on it. Not all resources and wares can be obtained by yourself. You will often, often have to make trade with other cities. Oh man, okay. Let's build a clay pit, just like that. There we go. Okay, note that each building requires workers to be assigned from the, from their homes. Okay, I have to assign them? That's a bit weird. Um, okay. Production buildings have a minimum number of employees below which they don't start working and with a maximum number of employees, production reaches 100% efficiency. Keep an eye on the workforce in the settlement by production building... Mm, what? Keep an eye on the workforce in the settlement by building new houses. Okay. I mean, how do I select these guys to come work here? Uh, let's see. Space. Uh, the production of wares may require the construction of more than one building within the production chain. You will find information about the building by right-clicking on it. Okay. Workers 8 of 8. It is fine. Natural resources. Do I need something like natural resources? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, faith, administrative, wear, production. Nothing's available, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah, okay. Space, go on. Okay. Finished wares are collected by the employees of the stockpile and stored there. Build the stockpile in close range or to the production building in the same way as before. Okay, let's do that. Let's put a stockpile in. Right there. Come on. Yep. Now, this goes in. Note that the stockpile does not have a predefined range and can pick up orders from the other end of the map. Therefore, 
you can control the stockpile policy by clicking right mouse uh, button on the building. Okay, there's no map by the way. That would have been much more helpful. Okay, good, good, good. Take all, take all, take all. Because I, oh, this, this is just still the beginning, so that's fine. Look at this person going to work. Oi, where are you going? I'm going to work, sir. No, come back. Work on the other side of the place. Why are you working here? Well, because I need money and food. Food is the money here, so you've got to be careful. Why am I talking like this? I don't know myself. And he's going to carry some stuff. Delivering resources. Age 24. At age 24, he is just as he is. Uncle. Okay, we can actually rename these guys, apparently. So, moving on, though. Space. Okay. Uh, the complete... Uh, to complete one typical production chain, build a brick maker. The manufactured bricks are one of the most popular trade tradable wares in the game. Okay, that's good to know. Let's build some bricks. Right there. Uh, it's costing me more food. And there's that. We have this going. Okay, some production buildings require specific conditions or locations. Wells, well, wells must be built by the river. Quarries by the hills and woodcutters require forests which may be depleted if you devastate the entire woodland. So this is an interesting sort of tidbit to be honest. Oh man, this is so annoying. The controls are a bit too annoying here. Um, yeah, so if I sort of devour the entire forestry area, it's gonna end up like with no, we're gonna end up with no forest. So that is a very interesting thing. I like that. I like that a lot. Moving on to the next part. Remember that building within a single production chain must have been connected to the same road network in order to be able to supply each other with products using the stock. So he's bringing stuff from here to there, and that's going from here to there, and then from here to there again. Okay. I mean, okay, that's fine. Roads are used mainly by stockpile and granary workers, so keep roads connected if you want to transport wares in an efficient way. Good to know. Moving on. Uh, in the in the inhabitants need food to improve their houses as before we need to create another production chain each subsequent upgrade of the house has its own different requirements you can check them in the house information card with the house information card 20 available workers no nope. there's no house information card here anything here nope great okay now move Okay, go away. Um, yeah, there's no house information card here. Unless... Nope. Moving on then. We need to build uh, build a fishing wharf to start fishing. Okay. So fishing is a way to sort of get some food. Uh, let me just see again. Like food production. That's the fish. It's gotta be like so. Then again, it's gotta be like that. Uh, okay, what do we need next? The food pro uh, produced has to be stored in a granary. Where will it... Where it will be distributed further? So let's store them in a granary like so. Uh, oh man, I want to get rid of this and sort of build again. Uh, okay, the food from the granary is distributed through bazaars. If the bazaar is supplied with the wares, the inhabitants will continue to deliver them to their houses. Okay, that's good to know. Let's build a bazaar then. Why not? Okay, I want to make this right though. So yeah, I'm, that's the entrance. So I want the entrance to be on the outside, next to the road. Hmm. The finished wares can be used to build a monument if the mission requ uh, requires it, or it can be traded away. To do this, you need to set up a trade route. To do so, click on the re uh, region map icon on the top bar. There we go, finally, we have a map. Whew, that was hard. Uh, Okay, you are on the region map. Uh, you will find your settlement on the map and all other uh, all other then known settlements. You can only make contacts with some of them at the beginning, but this but this situation may change during the mission depending on the results of your choices. So apparently there's going to be choices too. So these are interesting stuff, guys. Selected settlements to see what uh, select selected settlement. Uh, to see what it is trading with and check the other parameters influencing diplomacy. 
From this place you can set up your first trading route which requires an opening fee depending on many factors such as distance and current political conditions. If you want to return to your settlement, click again on the region map icon. Okay, click on uh, Abydos City. Let's do that. Is this Abydos? No, this is. Okay, how about this? Yeah. Uh, I can't see. Can you bring this down? No, you can't. You can't move anything at the moment. Uh, to open a trade route, select Abydos. This is currently the only city you can trade with. Then click and confirm open trade route. Trade route. Uh, opening trade route to Abydos will cost you 200. Yep, I mean, you have to, so. Okay. Uh, the trade route has been opened from the time uh, from time to time a trader or ship will come to the city to exchange uh, their wares. At the beginning of each year the amount of purchased wares is reset. If the trader exchanges all his goods during the year, he will not arrive again until the next one. You must first determine whether you want to import, export or do nothing. The default option blocks the possibility to import and export. The default option blocks the possibility of import or export. Uh, to change it, click the economy icon. Where's the economy icon? Uh, oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh, the goods you are already pr uh, the goods you already produce and you can export to Abydos are bricks. Change your policy on bricks to export. Bricks, bricks, bricks. There we go. Um, export. There we go. Excellent. If you want to keep bricks in a specific stockpile, you can set it in its uh, option in the information card. Good to know. Okay. Uh, knowing the basics of the game, you can focus on completing the mission to recall the conditions of victory. Go to the general tab. What is this? Mission description. We have conditions of uh, the ruler of Upper Egypt. Oh, yeah. We have conditions of exporting 5,000 bricks, gathering pottery of 2,500, Gathering dwellers of 200. Hmm. Uh, there you will also find the city statistics a tab uh, with diplomatic messages. If received information about the mission and other tabs that you will get, uh, that you will get access to later on. Okay, space to continue. Uh, these are the most essential rules of Builders of Egypt game. The tutorial will be expanded with new elements as the game develops. Good to know. Close economy tab. Okay, good to know. Okay, closed it. Close region tab. And done. Now, what do we need? Well, that's about the tutorial, I guess. So what is going on here? I wonder. Oh, workers too. There's not enough workers, apparently, for us. So now we can actually do what we want to do in this place. And I think we need a few more dwellers. We need about 200. And now I'm free to do what I want. So let's see. Uh, let's get some roads in. Like so, from that side to this side. Okay, uh, there could be something else there, but I want some more houses. Let's see, houses, houses, houses. Let's be houses. There we go. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see if we can do something by ourselves. Uh, where's the? Okay, that's better. One. Ah, no! Come on. Okay, get get rid of this. De <laughs> demolish this. Um, again, house. See, it's, it's a bit complicated with this going forward like so. We want a few more, like right there. Okay, I can't pull it, can I? Okay, that's gonna be it though. So I've got these guys. Hopefully, things will be fine. Moving two times speed, three times speed, actually. Uh, are, are we gonna get people coming in? Oh, I don't know, that's a good thing. Um, what other options do we have? Well, we need some wells, for certain. And I could place one right there. Mm. Or maybe over here, actually. Yeah, that's actually a very good idea. What's going on? Why can't I place this? Uh, go slow, go slow, go slow! Okay, we have someone who traded with us. Let us check up on the mission description. We need bread. Which we are sort of gathering. Uh, we are exporting bricks and importing something. 
Because for dwellers, we need quite a lot more. Pottery, we need 2500. Uh, okay, let's see how much we can go in this one. House, okay. Access to one type of food. You have access to one type of food, don't you? Uh, 12 of 12, carry 0 of 8. Effectiveness 100%. Come on, people, get to work. Okay, what about this one? Occupancy 507, available workers 507. Okay, that's good to know. Seems like we are still working on these guys. Yeah, why can't we build like a... well... I think it's because there's no water. Yeah, there's no water there. That's the main problem. Uh, over here there is though, so I'm gonna place one there. Hopefully this should help these guys. What other production chains do we have? Uh, let us check up on those. We could get a farm, which would produce us more food. Actually, uh, that's not rich enough, I'm guessing. See, it won't go in, so that means that's not rich enough, the farm. It needs to be closer to... Or maybe something else. Maybe this means something else. Oh yeah, this is where we can do farms. Not anywhere else. So let us get some farms in. How about that? It is interesting that you can do... Ah, oh, no, come on! See, this is the problem. Let's see. Where's the food production farm? There we go. Okay. Now, we do want to use something that was mentioned in the tutorial. Give me a second. Can't go there. Up to there, please. Oh, can't go there. So we're going up to there. Next, what I want. Where production? Nope. 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 Uh, what am I looking for? What is this? Shrine. Interesting. Administrative buildings. This is a bazaar. We have a granary. We have a stockpile. And we have fire station. What are these? Plaza. Decorative pawn. Hmm. I was thinking of putting up some um, places to you stay there, but apparently you can't do that. It's my bad. Moving on though, I want something like that. Perhaps we could get some water going in. Uh, sorry, houses going in here so that workers don't really have to go far away. Yeah, let's try and do that. Ooh, milestone reach, settlement. I don't know what that milestone is for, but we're good. Um, interesting. We have very little of that. We have to export like 5,000 bricks. We have to gather like 2,500 pottery. 110 dwellers, which is good. Um, ooh, someone's coming. Get this off. Coming to city. What are you up to, I wonder? Oh. Well, you want this, and I want those, so... Clay. Uh, waiting for wares. Waiting for wares. Trader from Abydos wants to sell nothing, wants to buy bricks. Hmm. 1200. How much bricks do we have in stock? Well, here's the thing. I don't think we have any in stock. Aha, 0%. Why is that? Because we need straws. Okay, so we have a new sort of thing here. What does this give us? Straw and wheat. Okay, so we need farms to basically make bricks, which was not explained before. So let us sort of make more farms. How about that? Let's see. Oh my days. This is just annoying at times. Uh, <coughs> hmm. What is going on? One, two, three, four. Okay, this goes in. That goes in. Like this and then like this. Also this and that. Okay, I'm gonna keep to this. I'm gonna build myself some road. Uh, give me a road. Come on, dang it. Come on. Okay, now road. That's better. Going in from there to there. That's better. And what I need is. Some houses. Because guess what guys, we do need a lot of houses. 
Oops, almost one there. What's going on? Why can't you go there? You can't go in these parts for some reason. What? How much is the house cost again? This is weird. This is just weird. Why can't we build a house there? But we can build them here. I guess those are like farmlands or something. Okay, let's get them here then. Um, no, no, go away. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have these coming in. That's all right. And I guess we can... what's going on with this person leaving. What? What? What is this? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not sure what is wrong with you. Why are you running away? Tell me. Trader, Abydos, wants to buy, coming back to your home, okay, I mean, I don't know, go away then, if you don't want to, then go away, just leave, I tell ya, we have plenty of farms though, that's good, we want some more houses, uh, hmm. we can't place them here, that's the main problem, but there we can place one, so I'm gonna place one here, okay, so, get to work people, get to work, we are soon gonna have these happening, and we want some pottery going as well. Can we build pottery? Clay pit. Efficiency is... Well, no, efficiency is fine as is. It makes clay. This needs straw and then it's gonna make bricks. Which it's sort of working at. How about you sir? How much do you have of what? You have clay 900. We have nothing else at the moment. Well, straw 200, which means we have 200 uh, bricks to come in pretty soon. Which will be interesting. We have these. Oh, what is going on? Oh my days, it's flooded. It has flooded, guys. It has flooded. I don't know why or how this was possible. Interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, going on. Farm 0% effectiveness. Or maybe it's part of the game that the farms need some flooding, which is why I can't place uh, houses here. Could be, could be. You never know. Do, 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 do. How many settlers do we have? Dwellers? We have 131. I need even more though, because guess what? We need more people. We need 200. Let's see. After 200, I'm not going to build anymore. But yeah, go on, build one, two, three, four. Okay, how many can one house sort of have? Like five, right? So, we should be good. Because those can like hold like seven, I believe, six. Okay, good to know. We still have people coming in, so that's going to be something. We have about one person, two person, okay. Moving on, we're going to need loads of stuff apparently someone's coming in for some more trading let's see what we can do for them or if we can do something for them oh okay yeah he wants to buy bricks or clay i'm not selling you clay i'm selling you bricks only okay we have is this working i mean 100 we have this we have that okay what i want is not to store like that Clay, we have way too much. I'm gonna say, bring this down a bit. Okay. Basically, what we want is to store a very minimal amount of clay so that those are transferred into here. Uh, that's my plan, anyway. Here we go. The clay bit's working fine. This is going on fine. Get rid of this. Go on. Uh, we have 148 people for now. We still want more people because we want 200. What are the winning conditions for now? We have not exported any bricks. We have 148. We have 1500 food. Not, not good, not good. Um, well, when we export, we should get food. We want something. Pottery. What can we do about pottery? Ooh, a pottery place. That's interesting. I can't place it over here. I need them to be... More like that. Where can it be? That's a very good question. I can place it, and I will place it right there. Okay, moving on. Uh, go away. The UI is a bit weird, so that's something. What's up with you, sir? Have you got what you wanted? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to trade with you, by the way. And eventually, I don't know what's gonna happen with the pottery scene either. Uh, we do need more people. We need about 50 more people. Which is still being worked for. Like, two hours. Um, mm -hmm. Still have like two more people who can come and stay here. Yeah, as well. Okay. Seems like these are five. So what? Why are these? Oh, they're nine actually. So that's fine. I figured they were like five or something. But anyways, we are having people come over, and once they come over, they're gonna work for us, which is gonna be good. Moving on though, but we can't get a forestry in, can we? What does a shrine do? I wonder. I think it's. I mean, it should make them happy, right? I feel like it should. So let's get one in. Why not? Seriously? Yeah. Um. Administrative buildings, we have plenty. How about you? Are, are you like in range of everything? Well, not those. Not this. Okay. We might have to build like one more administrative building then. Uh, like right there. Go on. That is a bit weird. Um. This one? No. no. Where's the administrative? Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Uh, turn like so. Go in. And then, give me a well. I mean, I don't know how far the wells do go, so there is that. Let's get ourselves one more. Oh, no, no, we do have a well here somewhere. There it is, so that should be fine. Okay, so, we have 178 people so far, but we should have even more once these sort of upgrade, which it will, obviously. Uh, we need food, and we have one. I think I should update my food chain as well. Let's see, food, 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 food production, fishing and whatnot. Can't place anything else anywhere, really. Now, this is our map. And there's nowhere else I can place this, so that's just sucky. Yeah, I can't place it over there. These guys on the other hand, they're doing their best. Let's see, food production. Let's get some more farms in. Why not? I've got to be careful though. There we go, and one more, and one more. This should be better, that should be better. Let's get some roads in for my people to reach these places, which they should. There we go. And it is flooding again, it is flooding. Oh my. The flooding is so interesting. It is interesting because it does keep you on your toes, sort of. Maybe during the flood time you can't actually produce anything? I don't think so, let's see. Nope. So you have to consider those when you're trying to do stuff. How goes your place, guys? Um, okay, clay 800. I'm gonna increase this a bit more. Stockpile can store a maximum of 4800. We have 180 people so far. We have no wheat. Fixed pomegranate. There's so much stuff we could bring. Oh my days. Oh, we could bring so much stuff. Okay, what about you, sir? What do you need to upgrade? Access to temple. Which should be available. Is this not a temple? Uh, it's a shrine. So it's 0% effective. I mean, I don't get it. Okay, yeah. Probably temples are like later on in the game. Yeah, it's probably not available in the game right now. But anyways, this guy has his stuff that he's looking for. What do you want, sir? You want some bricks? You get some bricks. Alright. Uh, you don't get plays, though. You only want to sort of trade uh, bricks and get some bread for them. Oh, we don't have a lot of bread, do we? Hmm. But we just got some bread. What, what just happened? Where I just bought something? Can I set these up like build me something? Real wheat. I can't select like what you what I want from them, can I? Can I? I don't think so. Now uh, let's build some houses for these guys. How about that? Let's see, give me some road. Yeah, oh come on. Go in like so. And then 
Let me just see if the house is going here. Okay. Yeah, it will go in right there. Not there. So I'm gonna place one there. Two, three, and four. Yeah, that should be enough because we have way more as is. Uh, we just need to fill up the capacity of 200 and then hopefully these guys will go where I need them to go. There we go. And there we go. And finally, we need some stuff for these guys too. We need some wells, which should be here. Nope. Here. Yep. A well over here would be good enough, I think. Maybe over there, in this corner, right there, that's fine, and finally I need something else, I need a, come on, where is it, where is it, a fire station, yes, I do need this, it can't go in there for some reason, can it, yeah it can, so never mind, it's fine, let's get this going, let's get this going, we need some more of these guys sort of making us, um, this, this is what we need, which we don't have, why aren't we getting wheat? That is a bit weird. So we have to depend solely on this, I guess. Uh, since we are also making pottery. Have we sort of made any pottery so far? Well, there's pottery 200. Yeah, bricks 300 exported. Bread currently we have 405. Uh, we have to export way more bricks then. Okay, I mean, we have plenty of people. But... Okay, it's gonna be fine as is, I'm quite certain. Moving on, moving on. We need this to be done. Um, there's a good chance I will not reach this, though. There's a very good chance. Uh, what's going on here? Apparently, it's just upgraded. That's great! We have someone coming in with some more bread. Oh, no! We have brought 150 worth of stuff, which is also awesome. We have 200, yay, awesome! And then we have these being worked on. Okay, now... How do we make this happen? That is a very good question, and probably one I cannot answer at the moment or anytime soon because we have so many people to feed with bread. And then, hmm, go slower, go slower. Freshwater cover map. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Okay, give me a second. Um, I want to get rid of this and I want to check up on where production. Seems like nothing is being produced here or something. Uh, tax collector map. No map. Okay, no tax is coming in. This guy, what is going on with him? Oh man, this this is a weird little thingy. Why is he not upgrading? That's a very good question. Uh, fire station cover map. That is also great. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this? What's going on with this guy? Uh, chickpeas, pomegranates. That is nothing. He has nothing. So there's no food for him. Yes. What about you? What about you, sir? How much granary is holding literally nothing? Just fish. Why is there no... Okay. Mm -hmm. Health coverage. We don't have any health coverage. Uh, police station cover map. Okay, so... Uh, that's... Okay, yeah. We can't really do any of those stuff yet. Uh, you know what, guys? I think I might call it a episode. This has not really been like a full bone episode. This is just me sort of playing the prologue with you guys. Experiencing what it is to be a builder of Egypt, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we do have to play a lot more in order to know how to go about this. Like, how much does uh, one person need in terms of bread? Because we are not having enough bread. Let's see, how much will you give me? Oh, are we going to lose breads again? No, we are not. Where's brought uh, 150 of this? Which is a bit weird. We don't need anything but bread. Hmm. Okay, I mean, what can we say? Uh, anyways, guys, I might call it a series, uh, not series, 
Uh, this was a first impression of, uh, impression of Builders of Egypt. See, 519 gone. And now we are at a negative 138.83. So yeah, I'm not gonna figure this out anytime soon because this game is still in alpha and it's gonna be a while before it comes out and these guys, there's no way to change them to produce something else other than wheat. Like straw, yeah. Um, but there's probably a way. I mean, I don't know. But yeah. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go off now. I hope you enjoyed this episode, it's just a one-off, it's me having my first impressions of Builders of Egypt. If you like it, remember to give a comment, like, share, subscribe uh, to my channel as well. Uh, helps me out, helps my channel grow. But for now, I'm gonna go off. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one, whatever I play. So until next time guys, it's gonna be a goodbye from me, Sadman Face. So until next time, bye bye